the squash is growing. Spring is in the air. We're going to go in the summer and then we're going to have fall and hopefully you're in areas that you can keep growing until the frost comes. And let me tell you something. The birds aren't taking a bath in the rain anyways. All I want to talk about today, and I know I'm going to talk about this a lot, how important is it is, is if you're getting potting soil, whether you're growing in boxes, whether you're growing in totes, buckets, flower pots, in the ground, make sure you've got something for your earthworms to come and gravitate towards your plants. Sure, you can have your own worm farm and sure you can keep throwing your own worms out there. And yes, you can buy them and put the money out for them. But why not give them something that if they're just traveling by, they're gonna go, whoa, I know that container's got something I want to eat. They will crawl up the legs late at night when it's damp outside. And they will go either into the bottom holes, because they drill really good, or they will go up and down and inside. But again, remember, you need to provide them with food. Any leaves that are laying on the top of the soil isn't food until more leaves are laying on top, because the top isn't breaking down it's just underneath but if you are dropping in any food matter for them be it leaves toilet paper rolls paper towels anything that you've got you're throwing away that's paper or or plant matter or kitchen scraps or eggshells or you know anything something you found in the fridge that was rotten and you have no idea what it was but you were gonna eat it they'll eat it the point is you need to have food matter for them and that will bring them you can do any of this. I throw in veggie rolls. What's a veggie roll? Oh, a veggie roll. Cool. Look, I even have the grandkids here today. They're so excited. They just love the idea of stuffing these wonderful toilet paper rolls. Oh, okay, can I have 10 bucks now? Wait, she only offered me five. Go back and watch the video if you haven't seen it. You can make your own plant food for your plants. But keep in mind that when you buy potting soil, in a bag it's already broke down you're not going to dump it in your totes and see wow look at all the eggshells and scrap food and broken down matter in there that is still big chunks you will never find that you might find wood branches but that's about it in here you're going to find everything because you've seen how i do it around the yard i collect stuff and dump in branches all on the bottom then i throw in leaves i pile in as many leaves as i can and i try to layer layer it a little bit sometimes i'll grab some soil off the ground and throw it in there as i build it paper kitchen scraps on the top i do want some sort of soil so it could be soil from another tote from last year that's already broke down or you can use potting soil Potting soil, a couple inches, it's not gonna cost you much. One bag, you, you, you can spread one bag along a lot of areas if you are building your own soil. So remember, earthworms are going to come to some place that already has food for them. They're not gonna come to some place that's got just potting soil in there and there's no food for them because they already did their job. It's all broke down. The microbes have eaten it. It's all broke down. There's nothing for them to eat. Would you stay in an empty restaurant with no food? I wouldn't. Well, they want to come to a restaurant that's got all kinds of stuff. They want a smorgasbord of food. They want to see a whole array of food for them to go through. That's for the microbes and the earthworms. So remember as you set up, no matter what you set up or where you set it up, Get something in there. I don't care if you decided to go with strict potting soil. Put something as you're dumping it in there. A few leaves that you can find around the yard, toilet paper rolls, shredded paper, anything. Something that if something does find its way in there, it might stick around. And you know what? That'll be for your benefit as well as your plants. With that, have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow and feed what's in there too, the microbes and the earthworms. They'd appreciate that too.